Hey everyone, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, thank you so much for your well wishes. I do really appreciate it. And Lisa, man, you're right. Today is not a day for me to go anywhere. Having a flare-up, folks, feels different uh, depending upon which autoimmune disease you have. So I have something called scleroderma and mixed connective tissue. So that means that for me, a flare-up feels like I have the flu. Like I woke up like a truck hit me and my energy is really low and I feel kind of off and I have pain in all my joints and I have a migraine and, and, and. So there's medicine for it, which I took this morning. It doesn't always work. Today's one of those days where it's not working too well. So I am not going anywhere. However, that's good because I made a whole crafty mess, which I eventually have to putter my way through after resting. But first I want to show you a special alley haul. Look at this. Okay, so I got in a big package from Alina. And, you know, a lot of people love Alina Cuddle for so many reasons, right? There's a lot of reasons to love Alina. Mostly I love her because the way she packages everything. You know, everything that comes from Alina comes in pristine shape. It's beautifully branded. It's beautifully packaged. It's gorgeous. It arrives in mint condition. It arrives quickly. It's exactly what she promises. No hidden surprises. And I bet you if you ever have a problem with an Alina product, I've never had a problem with an Alina product, but if I did, I can be pretty sure that she would just replace it. So I ordered this, which Alina was nice enough to send to me here in Israel without charging me extra shipping. And that's surprising because I wasn't sure if it was heavy when I looked at it online, but it is. It's not heavy, heavy, but it's heavy for shipping. So what is it? And I was curious about it because I wanted to see if this was a good gift for people for the holidays. And folks, I think this is going to be my number one gift for people for the holidays. So you get... 18 jars they're organized by section so groups of there's like yeah groups of three and basically it's designed to hold all your sequins and you could put flatbacks in here too i'm thinking of getting another one for flatbacks like i use a big toolkit thing for my flatbacks but i actually think this might be better so because it's deeper i love this for sequins so you know how i was paralyzed last year so i have like 90 something percent back of use of both my hands okay but I drop sequins all the time and they spill. Even if I like use, um, like let's say I use like a Ziploc or something to prevent them from spilling out, they still spill every day. So I am crazy about this because you have a screw on lid. If this falls, oh well, nothing will spill out. So I'm super excited. And this holds 18 and it comes in this cute little case that you can carry it around with you. So like if Kathy had one of these, she could bring her whole sequence mixes with her in this cute little case. So this at Alina's sale was under $4. I think it was like $3.97. And as I said, she was super nice and didn't charge me to ship it here, which I'm so grateful for. So Alina, if you watch this, uh, thank you. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. Okay, I have some strange okay, so video good. up on my other screen that I did not enter. How crazy is that? Where did you go? Okay, you can probably see me and I can't see you. Okay, sorry about that, folks. So, back to Alina. Alina, if you're watching this, I'm super grateful because this is a great item. So, I'm going to order a bunch of these for my crafty friends as holiday gifts because I think they're amazing, right? Pretty amazing for $4. All right, so what else did I get from this Alina? Well, I got a bunch of crafty goodness. So, for my swap with Danielle, I had ordered these in like several Maggie Holmes-esque colors, and I didn't think I would use them all, but I did. So I needed to order more for Miss Sabrina. I ordered this lovely kind of like Tiffany bluish green, and these are those new sequins. They're supposed to be like little flatbacks, but really they're sequins for shaker mixes. Super pretty. All right, and I also ordered it, I like this like, I got this mix of pink and white that I really like from Alina. I love this mix. I'd also ordered this from Miss Danielle's swap and I used it all. Like I loved it. So I got a nice purple because I couldn't find this anywhere here. And believe it or not, I couldn't find like an iridescent tea silver here. So I ordered that. And then everyone hauled these and said they were so cute or they got them in the design packages as the little hearts. And I thought, well, what are you going to do with that before Valentine's Day? But then I thought on my XOXO cards, I'll put these. So I was like, okay, those are cute. Um, my other favorite from Alina were, I did a test run on her Christmas sequins. And I got to tell you folks, they're really pretty. Look at the iridescent snowflakes. Aren't they amazing? They're really great. They're quite large too, you know. They're about half an inch. So they're, they're a nice size for a sequins mix. 
and I got the iridescent pink ones. So I'm super excited about this haul. Oh, and I forgot I ordered a special burnished gold. Like a, I wanted like a gold, but a soft gold for my mix with uh, Sabrina. And this was perfect. Look at it. So yeah, she has wonderful colors of sequins. You know, it's not that the sequins are any different from anyone else, except for the color palette. Like, like I wanted specific shades of gold like this one, the really soft gold versus the bright gold, which I already had. And she has them. And they are just spectacular. And again, beautifully packaged, beautifully shipped. Everything came in mint condition. You gotta love Alina. You just do. And she always gives me a couple of dyes. And I have to tell you, I'm always touched by this. Like this time she gifted me, like I've got a couple of dyes here. And I have something very similar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pay these forward. Because I think it's so wonderful that she does this. And super sweet. Um, and I appreciate it every time I open up an Alina package there are gifts in there for me and I just think that's really nice but uh, since I have some of these I thought well wouldn't it be nice to just slip these into someone's holy rack people who I know who are just building up their die stash so thank you Alina I'm gonna pay that forward believe me they're going to good use and I also ordered one other die where is that little die I wanted to show you oh lord I had done this video and then we had a little hoopla with it there was too much light and weird crinkle so I had to redo it um, I'll find that other die. I ordered one other die for my swap with Sabrina, and it's a shape tag type of die, and I'm super excited about it. All right, so what about my dollar store haul? Well, I'm telling you folks, my collection of shabby stuff is just getting more and more extensive. So I bought these flowers at the dollar store. I'm really, really happy with them. Look at them. I thought they were going to be like the, the Dollar Tree ones. Nope, they're nicer. They're really great. So I got them in pink. And I got them in mint green with this nice purple on the edges. Really pretty. Perfect for my swap with Sabrina. Now, I also got these little pink flowers. Also for my swap with Sabrina. And then I got these because I'm trying to do that Christmas in July. And this was a little Christmassy. Remember, I don't have any supplies here. So I'm going to have to try to invent something just to support that project. These were like both under 60 cents. So how can you go wrong? And these were a dollar. So I was thrilled with those. Now, what else did I get? Oh, yes. I found this for Kathy's boys. I was surprised because they don't do Halloween here. But they had this Fright Night face tattoo. So I picked this up. This was about 50 cents, too, to slip and take her package for her boys. And let's see. What else did I find? Oh, yes. I wish that this wasn't so heavy. I would so gift this to a lot of crafty friends. Basically, what it is is it's pre-cut crepe paper in the size of a small rosette. So you can make a small crepe paper rosette. This is the perfect cut size. Lily teaches us in her video how to cut the, the crepe paper down to make smaller rosettes, which I've learned how to do thanks to Lily, but this is pretty done. And what's nice is that basically it's a sampler of colors. So like I didn't want to go buy a whole lot of red just to make the Christmas in July project, but look, there's little bits of red. So I have enough now to make some stuff in each of these colors. So I loved this. This is like a crepe paper sampling pack to make miniature rosettes. I would have so bought these for all my crafty friends if it wasn't so heavy. I can't ship this from here. That's the problem, unfortunately. And let's see. Oh, yes. So you guys know I was dumb. I only brought one packet of thickers here, and that was really dumb. So I used a lot of them on Danielle's project, and I have to save what I've left for my project with, Dan with um, Sabrina. But it's not really going to be enough. So I'm being very resourceful. So for 50 cents, I bought a bunch of these felt letters and I bought two packs of those. Um, and thankfully, if you remember, I hauled, when I first got here, they don't have them anymore. Those like Tim Holtz like vintage letters. Thank goodness I hauled those because I'm gonna need those for my project with Sabrina. Hmm. Look at these. Oh yes, do they remind you of Jelly Beans altered paintbrushes? Well, hopefully they will look something like that when I'm done. So I got two packs of these, one to make for Miss Sabrina, one to make as a prototype. Oh no, I got a third pack and one to make for Miss Jellybee. But let's see if they turn out. We'll see. But I was so excited to find these. Yay. So look at that. That was meant to be because I was like, am I going to have to buy like these ugly sort of industrial ones? No, I was able to get exactly what I was looking for. I was really excited. How much were those? Oh, those were a dollar. Those were a dollar. And then I got these. For Miss Katie, she has a little rack box coming from the Holy Land, her own separate rack box. So 
I've been hauling some stuff for her and not really showing it to you. And then there's this big old bag of hair ties. Guess who this is for, Miss Sabrina? Um, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna send you all this because it's too heavy. What I'm gonna do is pick out all the colors I think you'll like and send them off to you because this would be too weighty. But yes, folks, this was a giant bag of hair ties. I wanted to send her the whole thing. Um, but I just think it's too it's too heavy. And then I picked up some more foam brushes and they were like 50 cents. So I got those. And that's it, folks. That is my collective alley and dollar store haul. Um, pretty good day in terms of Dollar Tree haul and wonderful hauls from AliExpress. Thanks again to Alina Cuddle. You know, I'm always grateful when you send me a gift. I'm always grateful when you send me great products. And there's a reason she's so loved, folks. There's a reason. And let me know what you think of this. I think it's amazing. I think this is going on my crafty gift list for people. But let me know what you think. I love it. I love it. I might want to get me another one. All right, folks, that's it for now. I'm going to go rest. Thanks for being patient. I might not be back on for a while. I might just watch your videos and not do anything else today um, other than clean up this crafty mess before my husband has a nervous breakdown. I didn't find my distressings. I don't know where I put them. I have torn this place apart, and now everything is everywhere. And when I have a little more energy, i got to put it back because he will lose his mind even if I'm sick and I don't move stuff back. Um... 300 square feet, and I have filled it with crafty goodness. But right now, my craft stuff is on every inch of this place. And Fridays, he doesn't work, right? He has a day off. So he's looking around this house going, what the heck have you done? But hopefully, I'll get some energy back this afternoon, and I'll be able to put it away at least. Until then, I'm going to rest and watch what you're up to. All right, guys, take care. Hope you have a great Friday, whatever you're doing. And thanks again for the well wishes. I, I really do appreciate it. All right, bye for now.